Hello friends, Miss Ella here again for a new Harmony at Home lesson. Today we are going to discover a new style of music, which is uniquely American and has its roots in African American history. We will also learn a new song and meet today's special guest, who will play some jazz for us on an instrument called the saxophone. But first, let's start with our weekly game. Last week we played the game The Forbidden Melody. Do you remember how we played this game? Let me remind you of the rules of this game. I will start by singing The Forbidden Melody, made up of four notes. You will be able to see it on the screen and you will repeat it once to make sure you know it well. Then each time I sing a short melody, you will have to listen carefully and only repeat it if it is not the forbidden melody. Here is the forbidden melody. La 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 la. Sing it with me once. La 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 la. This was the last time you're allowed to sing it. Now I will sing four short melodies and you will repeat after me. But be careful, you are not allowed to repeat the forbidden one. Ready? La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. So, which one was the forbidden one? It was the third one. Let's do another one and we will keep the same forbidden melody since it's not an easy one. Do you remember the forbidden melody? La, 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 la. Now listen carefully and repeat after me, but don't sing the forbidden melody even if I do. Ready? La, 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 la. La 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 Did you hear the forbidden melody? It was the second one. Now let's change the forbidden melody. with me once. La, 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 la. Don't forget, this is the forbidden melody. Now listen carefully and repeat after me, but don't repeat this one, of course. Ready? La, 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 la. Did you hear the forbidden melody? Did you repeat the third melody? That was the forbidden one, so I hope you didn't repeat it. Now let's do one last round, but let me change again the forbidden melody so you don't get used to it. And you will see and hear that the rhythm is no longer just quarter notes. It will be more challenging, so listen carefully and Pay attention to the rhythm as well. Here is the new forbidden melody. La 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 la. Sing it with me once. La 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 la. Now listen carefully and repeat after me. The forbidden melody is on the screen, so you can take a look if you don't remember it. Ready? La la la.
Did you notice which one was the forbidden melody? It was the fourth one. This game really tests your listening skills, doesn't it? And I bet you've gotten very good at it by now. Now let's learn about jazz music. Do you know what jazz is? Have you ever listened to jazz? Jazz was born right here in the United States, in the African American community of New Orleans at the end of the 19th century. The city of New Orleans was home to music from all over the world. African American musicians drew on West African music, European music, work songs, Afro-Cuban rhythms and even church music to create this new, uniquely American sound. By 1920, jazz had spread to big cities like Chicago and New York City. It became such an important part of the culture of its day that we now refer to the period from 1920 to 1933 as the Jazz Age. Jazz has continued to change and develop over time. It is now performed all over the world and in many different ways. It can be played by small or large groups of musicians and on lots of different instruments. Typical jazz ensembles include drums, guitar, piano, saxophone, trumpet, clarinet, trombone and double bass. Let's listen to a song I bet you have heard before, When the Saints Go Marching In, performed by one of the most famous jazz players of all time, Louis Armstrong and his all-star band. Listen and look carefully. I think you will be able to recognize all the instruments you see. How did you like it? Which instruments did you recognize? The singer and trumpet player is Louis Armstrong, and we could see and hear the clarinet, the trombone, the double bass, the piano, and the drums. Did you notice that the music started with the instruments? What happened once the song was played for the first time? Another singer joined the group and Louis Armstrong started singing. Was he singing the same melody he was playing in the beginning? Not exactly the same, but something very close. Let's listen again to the part where Armstrong is singing the melody, so we can memorize the song. Now when the saints, when the saints 
go marching in. Go marching in. Now when the saints go marching in. Go marching in. Yes, I want to be in that number. I win the saints go marching in. Now let's try to listen only to the woman's part, the lady who joined the group. Even though it's hard not to listen to Armstrong's part, try to focus on the other singer's part and to understand what she's singing. Listen carefully. What is she saying? Now when the saints marching in Now when the saints go marching in Yes, I want to be in that number I when the saints go marching in Ah, oh, y'all sing pretty out there! She is filling the rests in the melody with notes. Is she singing words? No, she is not. In jazz music, we call this scatting. To scat is to say or to sing sounds and syllables instead of saying real words while singing. If I sing this, Shadubiwa, you can't understand what I'm saying because I'm not using words but I'm sure you can recognize the song, right? The singer is actually inventing her own part at that very moment. This is one of the most important things in jazz music and we call this improvisation. What is improvisation? In everyday life, improvising means doing something without preparation. If you have guests coming home and you didn't prepare dinner, you can improvise. You open the refrigerator, you see what you have inside, and you prepare something fast. You didn't buy anything especially for them. You didn't plan ahead. You are improvising. In music, it means that the part is not written. You are inventing something while you are playing. Let's listen to the clarinet player. He is improvising, and then the trombone player improvises too. But if you listen carefully, you can almost hear the song you already know. Try to sing it in your head while they are playing. When Armstrong starts to play again, you can try to sing it out loud. You can sing it twice while he's improvising. Improvising sounds like a difficult thing to do, right? Well, it is. You need a lot of practice to be able to improvise. Today I invited a special guest who will tell us more about that. His name is Stephen Banks and he is a very talented saxophone player. Let's meet him and hear some more about improvisation.
I'd love to um, explain a little bit more about improvisation. I know it can seem really daunting and scary at first, um, but a really good place to start is just thinking about maybe your favorite melody and think about how you might um, spice it up a little bit or embellish it or maybe even calling that ornamenting it, ornamentation. Um, and so I'm gonna today sort of walk you through this idea of embellishing a melody with the song Happy Birthday. I think we all know that one. So I'm gonna take us through three different ways of, of embellishing it and then try to mix them all together. So the first way is by changing the rhythm. Uh, the second way is by adding some neighbor notes, what we call neighbor notes, notes that are right next door to the notes that are in the song. Uh, and then we're going to add some arpeggios. So when you know the chords to a song, you can run up and down them in between uh, the notes of the melody. And then we'll close by trying to do a mixture of, of all three of those. So let's start by just hearing the melody to Happy Birthday. I was using a metronome um, so that you can tell where the beat is at all times because now when I demonstrate the rhythm or improvising with the rhythm um, you have to be able to hear how I'm changing it so you'll notice that sometimes the metronome beeps but I don't play exactly with it maybe I'll play between the metronome clicks um, and that I'm doing completely spontaneously. So I'm still playing all the same notes, but I'm messing with the rhythm and adding some rests here and, and moving some notes around. So check out what that sounds like. The next way that I'll demonstrate is by taking the notes of the melody and just adding one or two notes, maybe one above, maybe one below. So what I call these is neighbor tones. So think about your next door neighbor. It's right one, one over this way, one over that way. That's what we're doing with the main pitches of the melody. And our third way of embellishing um, is a little bit more complicated and it involves chords and arpeggios. So when you're playing a song, if you know the chords to the song, then what you can do is actually play the melody um, of your song and then in between the notes of the melody, you can add little arpeggios just going up and down. And then you're gonna start to hear a little bit of interplay between those arpeggios and the melody itself. Sounds a little bit more like we're inching towards jazz, inching towards improvisation. try to fuse all three of these things together. So I'm going to try to mess with the rhythm a little bit. I'm going to try to add some neighbor tones, no, notes right next to the, the, to the main um, pitches of the song. And I'm going to add some arpeggios throughout. And so now I'm completely improvising. I'm still thinking about my melody, but when I feel like it, maybe throw in an arpeggio. Oh, maybe throw in a different rhythm. 
maybe throw in something else. So these are some ways to just get started with improvisation. So I'd encourage you all to try it with your favorite song. Thank you so much, Stephen. Bye, everyone. Happy improvising. To finish this lesson, I would like to talk to you about those four notes from the beginning of the song we were listening to. La 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 la. What is the rhythm of these notes? Here's the beat. Let's sing these four notes twice. Does the melody start on the beat? Let's check. Sing it with me. La 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 la. La 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 la. I'm sure you could all hear that this melody starts with a rest, a short rest. If the beat is equal to a quarter note, what are those notes? La 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 la. There are three short notes followed by a long one. The short notes are all eight notes. La la la. And the last note, the long one, has two beats in it. La. So we already know that this is a half note. Now, what is this short rest in the beginning of the song? La la la. La la la. This is an eighth rest. Now that we have the rhythm, let's find the notes. We will put the first note under the first line, adding a small line called a ledger line. Are the next notes going up? Down? Are there any jumps? La 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 la. The second note is higher and there is a small jump between the first note and the second note. La la. But all the other notes are going up with no jumps. La la la. So we will put the second note on the first line and the other notes on the first space and the second line. Now we have the beginning of the song. That's great. Now, if I just sing it like I wrote it, is it the same as we heard it in the beginning of the lesson? La 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 la. Not really. It was more bouncy and the eight notes you see here were not equal. Let's try to sing it in another way. La 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 la. Sing it with me. La 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 la. Or la 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 la. Do it with me. La 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 la. This sounds already more jazzy. The thing we were doing is called swing and it's used all the time in jazz music. It's the thing that will make your feet tap and your body move with the music. We learned three important things about jazz music today. We learned what scat is, remember? Shadubiwa. We learned what improvisation is and we learned what swing is. I will see you next week for a lesson all about singing and we will be joined by a wonderful singer. I can't wait for you to meet her. I will see you next week and until then, make it a musical week.